Hi everyone, this is Ita with Ita Thoughts, and I'm here to share with you guys a few techniques on how to make um, my dangles that I put on my uh, mini books and tags. I will show you some very basic um, wire techniques, okay? So let's get started. There's two ways you can go about this. Um, one way is you can buy these pins, head pins and eye pins that they sell already uh, cut up and made for you. And they are like this. This is the head pin and it has a flat um, head here at the end of it. See? And this will keep your beads from going through or from um, giving it a nice finished look to your project. And here you can attach more beads and stuff to this little um, loop that it has here at the end. The other way is you can purchase spools of wire like this. This is um, really inexpensive beading wire that I purchased at Walmart. And this type of wire I mainly use for scrapbooking. Um, not really much to make any uh, jewelry and uh, it also comes like this now wire the higher the number the thinner the wire the lower the number the thicker the wire this wire here if you can see is um, a 22 gauge wire and it's thicker and this wire here is 28 gauge wire and it's a lot flimsier a lot thinner and it just basically depends on what you're using it for and um, let's get started um, if you see here I have this connecting bead here that has two loops at the end this end is where you would put your clasp and um, I'm going to be using this one because I do not like to uh, reproduce any of my designs um, okay so we'll do this one and one thing that I have learned to love in wire working is I really love mixing and matching my wires um, this is a copper finding and this here is gunmetal head pin I mean eye pin here so it's really cool and it gives it a really cool effect okay so um I'm going to attach a bead here and you can put your bead here like so and I will be using a bead cap I can find it here like so see it gives it a really pretty look Put this bead here. Okay. So you would you need pliers like this, and you need some kind of um, cutters like this. If you don't have these kind of cutters. Another great thing that works um, are um, nail clippers. They get really cool and really close into the the edge of your project, and it gives it a really clean finish. So. You would get it like this. You fold it at an angle like so. Holding on to it, you bring this wire like so. Twist it. See? Now, depending on the look that you want to give your bead, you can either cut it here and leave it as a simple loop or you can take your wire and you twist it around and it gives it a, a wrap look just design purpose uh, preference whatever your design is going to be for and you just get as close as you can to it and you snip the axis if you hold on to your wire it won't jump around and poke you in the eye
and then you can just flatten it out. See? And there you have that. And I will be needing let me wrap up my beads here. I want to give it um, mix it up a little bit. So I will be using one of these, a split ring. These rings, it's very important that you don't open like this, you open front and back so that you don't distort the shape of your your ring so you open it like this and you put your bead in there and I will be attaching it to my connecting bead here just twisting it and closing it like so And uh, you can add more beads here, which is what I will be doing. And for those beads, it's going to be a head pin. These are the head pins. And let me see. I'll put. Put one of these. Put it in here. Let's put two. It's really some of these are really small. Yeah. Ooh, I like their dogs. Looks cute. So again, you fold it at an angle. You bring your wire over like this. Loop it around. Now, before you attach, you do the wrapping. You better attach it. To wherever it is um, you're gonna attach it to you're not gonna use a split ring once you close it you have to reopen it or do another one to attach it so hold on to your wire Oops. twist it Go. And just twist it around, twist it around, twist and twist, twist and twist. Just snip off the excess. And there you have it. Then you can go ahead and attach more beads here to make a cluster, which is what I will be doing. And at this point, I don't even look to see what type of head pin I have. Um, if it's metal or silver or gold or gunmetal, I like mixing it all up together. So that's just another design tip. So here we go. You bend it at an angle, bring it over, and uh, I will be attaching it to this bead here. And you begin twisting the wire. Depends on how thick your wire is. You might be able to do it with your fingers like I did. You might need another set of wire of um, 
pliers. There you go. I'm going to be attaching this one. This. And this one up. I'm going to attach it. Have it girls how cute is that simple simple very easy nothing too complicated nothing to be scared of and here you would just add another split ring here and attach it to your clasp there you have it girls I really hope I was able to um, teach you guys something if you have any questions please feel free to uh, leave me a message and um, I'll be more than glad to answer anybody's questions thanks for stopping by and um, please uh, come back again I'll try to have more videos more tutorials on how to do um, some of the crafts that I've made and uh, this is my first video, so I'm a little nervous. And um, if I wasn't clear, I will promise to improve on my um, tutorials to make sure that you guys um, understand what I'm trying to say. Anyhow, this is what I have. Thanks for stopping by. And um, don't let the wire and the beads intimidate you. They are fun and easy, easy to work with. Thank you, and uh, have a good day. Bye.